About two weeks ago, vSphere 6.7 was not only announced, but available for download. And within two weeks, the folks at the vMug Advantage Eval Experience program actually had that code ready for you. So this video is going to cover exactly how you get the bits and how you get the license keys. Now, the code consists of the hypervisor itself and the appliance. Those are the two bits you're going to want to get. And if you don't have a full um, copy of vSphere and license keys for production use, well, eval experience is a great way to go. And almost three years ago is when I wrote this article about getting the 6.0 version. And it could be a little confusing about what to click on because there's a lot of icons in vMug Advantage. It covers almost everything VMware makes. And I'm really excited to continue to recommend this to people because for all of $200, you're able to use almost everything VMware makes in a home lab up to six hosts or servers, which is pretty awesome and generous. Now, I'll point out, uh, when you go to get eval experience from the vMug Advantage program here and so sign up and pay, um, you can renew within a year, so you won't have to rebuild your lab, so no more 60-day time bomb worries. And if you apply Tinker Try as your uh, discount code at shopping cart checkout time, you'll get an additional $20 off, so it's $180. Okay, so enough of that. Let's get on to how you get the code. It looks very similar today as here. So you sign up, and then you go to vMug Advantage on the hub. So let me open that in a new tab. Go ahead and log in. And you're looking for the word vCenter. That's where you're going to get your vCSA appliance from. Let's start that big download off first. So I'm going to go in here. And I'm going to add it to cart. Now, if you've already added it to the cart or ordered something recently, the experience you'll get in this next screen might look a little different. You might be asked to accept a license agreement. So in my case, all right, to prepare for this video, I did actually order it already. So in my case, we're on the vCenter page. And there it is. This is the download page that you'll also get. Again, the intermediate screen just might look a little different if it's your very first time in here. All right. That activation code, we can grab it now and put in our clipboard somewhere for uh, use in our lab later but you can pull it out of the order history as you just saw me do it any time. Okay, let's start that download. Now, here you might get a little confused. My article will cover exactly what you're trying to get, but you're looking for the VCSA download, and it ends in 866. How do I know this? Well, right there. VCSA download ends in 866. Yep, that's the one. When I hover my mouse over it, I see the file name, and that looks perfect. All right, now that's cruising along here, and by the way, Task Manager in Windows 10 lets anyone see the Performance tab, go to Ethernet, and you can see the speed I'm getting, 34 megabits per second. And if you're interested in where it's coming from, well, that's called a Content Delivery Network, and you can actually see that over in Resource Monitor. Go to the Network tab, and then you're going to see Chrome, very busy. So the one that's heavy hitter on the receiving side, CacheFly is where my Content Delivery Network bits are flying in from. In case you're interested in that kind of thing. So for me, it's bandwidth capped at about 35 megabits per second, even though I can go all the way up to almost 1,000 in my house. All right, cool, that's underway. Next, how do we get ESXi hypervisor? So if we click on the logo here, you'll notice nothing happens, which is a little bit odd. So I'm just going to go ahead and strip away the URL, go to the home page again, and show you Cloud, if you look for vCloud Suite, well, that's where the bits are going to be for ESXi. They were actually hanging out in the other section we just saw too, but they didn't have the license key over there. So we're going to want to go here and add to cart. And in my case, jump over to the order, go into the cloud one, view details, and there we go with the license key. You have two of them. You're going to want to grab the second one in your clipboard and copy that off and save it somewhere. Okay, that's the one that's gonna uh, work. Click on download, hovering my mouse over it. Can't quite see the file name yet, looks a little bit odd. But when we go to save it and click on it, it's jumping over to the page where all the file downloads are. So which one is a hypervisor? Well, it's got the word visor in it, so that's your clue there. 
And I'm going to look at it. It says 922 at the end. Remember, I had the file names listed. 922. Yep, that's the one. So that last file on the list is the one we want to grab. Awesome. File name looks perfect. Hit save. Have one more last look at Task Manager. You know, the logo here doesn't jump you to the home page, so there might be a third thing. If you have hardware that's on the vSAN compatibility list or a willingness to experiment with non-supported hardware where your performance may suffer uh, sometimes considerably, so that's no ding on vSAN, Well, you go over here to Virtual SAN. Uh, it's now renamed vSAN. Digs into your order history. Let's look for vSAN in my order history. There it is, view details. And we're good to go. I have the serial number that I need, and that goes for up to six CPU cores. Or if each one's single core, up to six hosts. When you go to download there, and you hover the mouse over, you see it's the same bits that are already flying in. See, it's already baked into the hypervisor vSAN. So you don't really need to download the hypervisor again, it's really just a license key you need it out of there. So that's it. That's my video showing you how to get the bits that you need to get going with eval experience. This article will be updated to show you how I just did this on 6.7 to make sure you get the, two, the right two files and the right two license keys you need to get started. So hopefully you found this video helpful. Please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. Thank you for visiting. Tinkertry, IT at home.